ah, this problem. It looks so confusing, right? And it's like, whoa, what is all this stuff going to be? But we need to remember our identities. If we can know our identities, what we can do is we can really simplify this problem and make it not so complex as much as it um, initially looks. So what identities I'm going to use? You know, we've talked about some reciprocal, quotient, Pythagorean identities. Well, and looking at these problems, we've talked about this previously, is the cofunction identity. And that's exactly the identity we're going to want to use. So by looking at the cofunction identity, when we have sine of pi halves minus x, we know that that is equivalent to the cosine of x. And we know that the cosine of pi halves minus x, that's going to be equal to the sine of x. So we can take all this you know, complicated reasoning of cofunction identities and re-represent them a little bit more easier uh, uh, trigonometric functions. Now, let's see, can I, can I rewrite the cosine of x divided by the sine of x? And yeah, uh, absolutely. We can use this as the quotient identities. We know that the cosine of x divided by the sine of x is going to be equal to the cotangent of x. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you simplify trigonometric identity. Thanks.